in case you missed any of my house reno videos let me give you a recap this is the house and it's located in cabo rojo puerto rico it was actually my brother's house that he sadly passed away years ago and it was pretty much abandoned it's also the house i grew up in i started by throwing stuff away and sealing the roof to avoid further damage then i got a lawyer to put the house under my name and began to renovate it of course unexpected things happened during the process and yes i went over budget but now let's finish up the interior of the house and get a long-term renter. Well, we are back in Cabo Rojo. I'm here with Sergio. We're gonna do some last minute things here at the house to leave it ready for the new inquilinos, which is the tenants. So they are signing the lease tomorrow. So we're trying to finish up between today and tomorrow and give them keys, sign, all that stuff. So I'm very excited. So let's get going. Well, there are less ants, definitely. There's none there. A few here. But wow. Hopefully they left for good. So I already tried the liquid I put on the walls on other videos. I tried this. This actually worked, I think, a lot. Or it was coincidence that they left. But now I'm trying this for the little bit that's left. So I'm going to put these. Let's see how this works. So I put one here because the living room seems to be the hot spot for the ants around this window. So let's start with this because I am dying to get rid of all this. Esto me tiene loca. So obviously I can't with this. So let's just take this. Let's start putting things here. That wheel is still here, Jesus. Here we have Sergio eating breakfast. Look at his breakfast. This is my breakfast. <laughs> Rice and what's that? Pollo asado mm -hmm. y fricase de ternera. Wow, what, what a breakfast. It's just very good. Mm -hmm. Creole. <laughs> At well, 9 a.m. Well done. Let's grab this. I'm always afraid of lizards. It's not that I'm afraid of them. I'm just grossed out by them. I'd rather a spider come out or a roach or a rat or a mice, but not a lizard. <laughs> Goodbye to my little TV. I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> I used to watch TV on this thing. One recommendation I can give you if you're working on a house in Puerto Rico to try to do it during the winter time, like December, January are great months because it's not so hot to work on the house. We're in March right now and it's like I'm feeling the heat. So I can't imagine working on a house during the summer here. Like, whoa. For now, this is what we threw out. A mister took something I left there, uh, like a spotlight. I don't think they've taken anything else. It is like 1.30 in the afternoon and we are so hungry. So we did a bunch of stuff, but I didn't get to film everything because we're on a row here. We're trying to finish and it's hot, sunny. We even had to put SPF because we're throwing things out, out there. And yeah, so we are hungry. We're gonna go eat and take a break. Maybe return later in the evening, afternoon before sundown and then hopefully tomorrow so let's go here at national again we are back at the house we went to el pueblo i drank a smoothie and then we went to visit sergio's dad now we're back here sergio is working on the kitchen sink some plumbing issue over there and i'm just gonna do little things here and there throw away some stuff because there's still some of my brother's documents around here so i'm gonna take care of that so with the new sink came a new leak for some reason it was defective la llave angular whatever that's called in english and uh said he was changing it for me he's not too happy but he's doing it thank you said I still gotta go through this box and I still have another box over here. But I'm not gonna go through all of this. I'm just gonna put it somewhere and store it somewhere. We're a work in progress here. We got the ducks here. It rains, of course, but we're gonna go eat dinner and call it a night. Coming here to El Boillo.
Oh look, Sergio's favorite. It rained. Sábado. Sábado. Lots of them. Big. Tarpons. And this is Isla de los Ratones right over there. I used to go there when I was little. I want them to open it again because there used to be a pier over here and you take the boat, pay for it, and go over there and the water is crystal clear. Now you can get there with the kayak, the jet ski, boat. So now it's a little harder to get there. We got some salad, some garlic bread, water. I mean, they give you everything here. No puede faltar quesitos with guava sauce. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm gonna get full here. <laughs> I got pollo al ajillo with tostones de pana. What did you get? This is breadfruit and this is fresh capitan's hogfish. Okay. Tasty. And some fruit punch. Wow, you can really see them now. So we just finished eating. It was real good. My chicken, the tostones. ¿Cómo estaba tu comida? La comida estaba muy, muy buena. El filete era como así de grande. Se sentía súper fresco y muy buen sabor. Okay, something fresh. Hey you, today I am heading to the lawyer's house, which he lives in El Monte, which is the neighborhood where Sergio is from, my boyfriend. So I'm heading there alone. I left Sergio in Ostiones fishing because he's like, I have no involvement in this house, so peace out. <laughs> so I left him over there fishing and I'm gonna go sign the lease with the lawyer and the new tenants, which I'm so excited for them. I feel they are good people. It's a couple older than me. I feel they're responsible people. They're gonna to take good care of the house saludos to you too so we're gonna get this done and hopefully they move in soon we still have to paint the house in the outside which will be like in a few months and so there's still work to do don't think that i am completely done so yeah let's just get this lease going and yeah let's go i just bought mini donuts also okay two dollars and 22 cents this is this is this is a crime like really i remember when this was like a dollar i remember when it was less than a dollar wow so we are back at the house and whoa it's super breezy here today hopefully you can hear me but yeah we're back here and i just want to clean this up basically have this ready clear of all the junk garbage out and mop the floor i swept yesterday now i need to mop oh my god i am crying here not from crying but like the allergies um so i just want to mop leave everything pretty clean moving ready so gotta get started this is the bucket i'm working with so we work with what we got and i brought this mop I just mopped the floor in the living room and I wish the floors look like this, but they don't. They look like this. But I didn't um, do the cristalización, I think it's called, that you shine them like this because I'm not living here yet. So I'm gonna do it later on when I am moving here. <laughs> That's my plan. So right now it stays like this. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, but yeah, this is very shiny. When you mop, the floor feels very aspero. So I leave the mop with a lot of water to make it smoother. That is the trick. We're at the hardware store because we keep having leak problems with the sink in the kitchen. So we're trying to come up with solutions and nothing's working. Let's see if what we invent now, buying some stuff and putting it over there works, but no guarantees here. Very upsetting to have to deal with leaks, especially when everything is new. We just don't get it. 
So it's still leaking in la llave angular. And he tightened it more, but now uh, the part where you put the little holes, the two little holes from the faucet, one of them doesn't reach. So we had to go to the ferreteria and buy this. It's like an extension. And so now he's working on that, but it's still leaking. So now we have two problems, still leaking and the hose, this little thing didn't reach. So I don't know, I, I, I'm losing patience at this point. I, and I, I just need to finish here and I don't know what to do. The leak is slow. Try filming and mopping. <laughs> Not the easiest. It's like I'm doing exercise here. Work out, work out, work, work, work. If it's not working out, it's working. One or the other, I'm always doing. Or cleaning. <laughs> or filming. <laughs> so, one thing that people have asked me here on YouTube is if this neighborhood has changed. And I would say yes. I lived here like 20 years ago and it, it has changed really. Um, I feel like it's more touristy now. Before they used to like, if you say this is where you live, they'd be like, they look at you like kind of weird. And now it's like the hot spot. Everybody wants to live here. They're close to the water, close to like the boat life. And I feel like it has changed in that aspect and yeah a lot of outsiders like people from the states you know gringos how they say and yeah i feel like that has changed still i have family around here still um most of the neighbors are the same and it kind of feels like the same but kind of different at the same time so that's what i can say about the neighborhood right now i feel like i'm doing like I have changed this water three times and it's literally gray disgusting I don't know if you can see that Wow three times Sergio saved the day so he added like an extension there so the holes can reach one of the holes or whatever I don't know the technical terms here by the way that was cut so horrible by the cabinet people but um Everything is fixed. It hasn't leaked yet. The leak was like all the way behind here. I don't know if you can see my hand, but no more leak for now. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Thank goodness. I'm officially done with this house in the inside. Wow. Wow. Wait till you see it. It's, it's a transformation really. And I am so proud of myself. I hope my brother is proud. <laughs> I want to cry. I really hope if he's somewhere looking at me that he's proud of me. What I've done. I know it sounds silly, but I really hope he is. But anyway, enough crying. These are happy tears, but enough crying. I want to show you the house in the inside, how it turned out. So let's go. Okay, let me pull myself together and show you the house now. So this was painted. Look at that kitchen. Wow, what a difference. You remember the other kitchen that was like 40, 50 years old? Look at that, an L shape. It's missing the stuff here, but it's here. The dining room is right here. Love the arch. I've always told you guys that this is my favorite part of the house, that arch. New fan, painted that black window. Look at how amazing this looks. A lot of light comes in here. Look at that. It's a pretty good size, the living room and the whole house really. I would say it just needs maybe a second bathroom, but other than that, it's just perfect. Now let's go to the rooms. This is the hallway. This was my childhood bedroom, if you remember. And wow, if you remember my room, it was a disaster. And look at those closets. Look at that. Wow, amazing. Ikea closets, hopefully they last. That is the question. Let's go to my brother's room here. 
as I continue to call it that, which is the largest room with the IKEA closets as well, the packs. Look at that, wow. And the third bedroom, which is the smallest one and does not have a closet. And I hope I'm not going too fast. The bathroom. New toilet, new faucet, new accessories. That is new. I put that uh, mirror right there. It's a pretty big bathroom. The doors that were painted, remember? That was red. You remember that? That was totally red. And look at those doors now. Wow, it's amazing. I'm so proud. I love the color scheme. I just love it. And then the Marquesina, which is this area right here. I just mopped it. Look at that. I can't wait to paint it in the outside. Like, that's gonna be amazing. That is a transfer switch, just in case. Uh, you can put a generator and you just switch it on and off. And then remember all the junk that was over here. I left the hose. I'm leaving that because they could store stuff there. But look at that. It's a pretty big house, really. I need to work on the outside of the house, obviously. I want to remove that closet right there. Just remove it and then paint all of that because if I remove it now, it's going to look horrible and I don't have this paint. And then I need to remove that little house too. That's on top of El Pozo, which is, I think, septic tank. Is that what it's called? But yeah, it's just looking so much better. Wow, wow, wow. I know you guys saw me buying outlets and switches, but I want you to know that I did all the outlets and the switches new. Just in case I didn't specifically mention it, all the switches and outlets are new. This is the new one, because it was down here, but then this was in the way, and so he had to like do that, and then they had to run something over here for the stove as well. So huh, that was a mission, but yeah, all the light switches and outlets, some of them are being run by somewhere else. So we gotta work with what we have. Some screens are new and I even put this. Everything is so shiny and new right there. That's the heater. Let's not forget that all the fans are new, all the light fixtures are new. I did really want to put some chandelier there, but I'm on a budget here, okay? So maybe when I live here, I'll put really nice things and change these windows and stuff like that. But for now, we just need to make this happen as a rental unit. We are done, Sergio. Mucho, 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 mucho trabajo, muchos días de trabajo, sacrificio, oh. espalda doblada, <laughs> muchos deditos rotos, pero miren. Sudor. Se hizo. A lot of sweat in this house, but it's all worth it. If you haven't watched the other videos, you gotta get to the other videos because you can see the order in which this was done. I have a playlist with all the videos there, so make sure to check it out. And then later on, you'll see that I'm gonna have other things planned with renovations. And later on, when we paint this house on the outside, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna film that too. We're doing some last minute things here, adjustments before we leave. Literally, we're leaving right now. We're just checking everything. I don't want to say goodbye to the house, <laughs> but I have to. Let me close it. Well, I'm coming back when we're doing the outside. So I'm literally painting the outside. Maybe I'll help in here, right? But the outside, outside, I'll have somebody do it. And we got to do the, the rejas, the gate and fix them because some of them are like all deteriorated so we gotta fix those too and yeah hopefully in a few months we're back oh, i close this ah, ah, we're done let's go i wanted to take this moment to ask who was the 
one that stopped me in the ferreteria at National in Cabo Rojo. One of you came up to me and took a picture with me and said, you watch my videos, but I didn't get your name. Who are you? What's your name? Write to me on Instagram, Facebook, or here if you want. I want to know who you are. And if any of you see me in the street, come say hello uh, and tell me your name. <laughs>